In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite underneath just simple spacing concept that can really mess with people whenever they're dropping a lot of people back in coverage and against your single back wing flex or your single back wing uh, stack formation out of the Tampa Bay playbook. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden players they could possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage right now to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe and our plan is to upload videos every single day in the Madden 22 season that is going to help you become a better offensive player as well as a better defensive player. We're going to hope to really help you guys uh, become the best players you can be. So make sure you subscribe to that. And another thing that I want to talk about real quick is my true fan membership. If you don't know what my true fan membership is, it's something that I started towards the end of Madden 21 and something that I'm really looking to advance forward in Madden 22. And basically what it's meant to be is essentially my most committed subscribers subscribers, the people that are most committed to getting better, join this and it's really cheap. It's just $5 a month. And what we do is every single week, I give you an offensive meta update, a defensive meta update, and a pro player analysis. The single back wing scheme, wing stack scheme, a little bit more of an in-depth version and a little bit more of a cohesive unit is actually in that true fan membership as we speak, along with several other uh, of my latest and greatest material. So if you want to get this scheme along with all of the schemes that we're going to be releasing and all of the pro uh, player studies that we're going to be doing, you can join that true fan membership today for just five bucks a month. You can cancel it whenever you want. It's just a Patreon. Um, but it also allows you, if you join before the August 12th deadline, what I'm going to do is on August, if you join the true fan membership before August 12th, I'll be giving out my first Madden 21 or 22 offensive and defensive ebook completely for free to just my true fan members. So if you're a true fan member, come August 12th, you're going to get a Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebook so that you can start dominating within the first week of the game. Okay, so that's my offer to you guys. If you want to get that, the link's in the description. Okay, guys, so I wanted to talk about this play double corner as a really fun little spacing concept, especially to the short side of the field. And it's really going to capitalize on some concepts we actually were using out of five wide and how good this out route really is. And so what we're going to do is we're going to simply go ahead and we're going to, we want to be on the short side. Really important. We want to be on the short side. Okay. So as you see here, we're on the short side of the field. Um, the next thing that we want to do with this is we want to take our circle receiver and simply put him on a curl route. Um, unfortunately, he's just a smidge too far to the inside. Um, I actually would, you know, I'm almost debating of motioning him out, but we're going to keep him where he is just for spacing perspective. And on the back side, we're not going to talk about anything just yet. We're going to come back to that. Um, but we're going to smart route the out route as well, and we're just going to motion him to the left side and snap the ball. Now, what you're going to see happen is even against the even against 10 yard seam flats, the route kind of ghosts pretty much any zone in the game. And what I'm getting at with that is you're going to see that 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 specific route is going to do a really good job at just getting open for you. So again, we're just going to do this adjustment, and I want you just to watch this out route. As you see here on the cut, and of course I'm throwing it a little bit too early, so we'll come back and show you that in just a second. But what you're going to see is this out route. Not only is it, it is good against zone. I'm going to show that in a minute. But I do want to show you, first off, how good this really is against man-to-man. -man. Against man-to-man, -man, this is going to get consistent, easy separation every single time as I get pass interfered with. Um, but again, just hang with me. You'll see what I'm talking about. I'm throwing it a little bit too early on all these plays. But again, just wait on the timing. Out route, cut, and there you see it. it's beating man-to-man. -man. So it beats man-to-man -man really well to the left side of the field. Um, the other thing that it does for you, though, is it allows you a lot of flexibility and allows you to work this little hitch um, against zone. So this hitch, you can use a hitch. You can also use a um, you can also use a a curl. Now the reason that I like the hitch more than the curl is if I wanted to take the back side of this and create some type some type of like um, delay drag post route and then running back i'm just going to block him something like this whoops something like that okay real simple um you could also do it in reverse you could do it like that okay the reason i like this is because the spacing is really good and you get pretty good blocking so again you see here he just sits and as you see even on some of the best zone drops and some of the best max coverage stuff you're going to have a lot of success uh no matter what the defense they're in so you see here i've got a seam flat 
and occasionally you'll actually get the seam flats to kind of glitch out a little bit um, and it will leave some stuff open for you so again we'll just show kind of this right here and I just want you to watch circle you see how he kind of holds that zone in and let me actually um, let me actually jump out of here and go grab my, my right zone drops. I don't think I have a zone drop set. So let me grab the right zone drops for you. Because um, most people are going to set the zone drops of 30, 10, and 10. And what you're going to see is, because uh, what I was getting there was I was getting a match on the hitch, which is very unlikely for you to get unless they're just, you know, running that, unless that's really their game, their game plan or their strategy. So what you're going to get now is you're going to get these seam flats and you're going to notice that it's going to play a little bit differently. The hook curls are going to play a little bit differently. Um, and I just want to show you primarily the two-man route concept on the left. So um, first and foremost this hitch. As you see, it gets wide open. Um, now, I do want to be really, really, really clear and tell you that if, let's say, you get a look like this, um, normally they're not going to drop this guy in a hook. Normally this is the zone and this is it. So if you can run this little simple hitch route on the side um, as I reset the play here, but if you just watch how this works, this hitch route um, combined with this out route, one person is going to get open if not two people. Um, this out route is actually really underrated. Let me show you that out route real quick one more time, especially against seam flats. Um, and I'm going to put a vertical hook over there just to show it and show you the difference of the zone. So again, I'm just gonna motion this guy out, snap the ball, and again, look, see how I can snap throw that? This offense is really filled with excellent routes and excellent snap throws that can really force your opponent to get out of sending a lot of pressure. So you have that snap throw. The other thing that you can do though, if you watch this hitch route, um, you're gonna see here that that's gonna take one of the players, and then you can just dump it down to the running back if so needed. Another thing that you can do, especially against max coverage, and we're going to go to man in just a second, but especially against max coverage, is you can simply take this circle receiver, put him on a hitch, and then as you know, as we were talking about before, we have this post, and then I personally like a curl with a table route if they know they're in max coverage. So you get this look right here, and now what you're going to see is this vertical hook is going to get held underneath, and I can throw that post route on the sideline for an easy gain against the zone coverage. Now let's talk about man-to-man -man for f a few minutes, um, especially press man. This is one of my favorite route combinations for man-to-man. -man. And the reason why I like it so much is because this out route to the left side is really hard to guard uh, in man coverage. You just wanna make sure that you're not throwing the ball too soon. Um, I've been throwing the ball a little bit too early in this video, but again, you're just gonna let it get out. And you don't have to motion it all the way out, but I like to just for spacing. That's what we're looking for. And as you see, it's a consistent eight to nine yards against man to man. And then what you can do off of this is really, really good because you can do all kinds of stuff off of this. Um, for example, if I just left this as is, you're gonna see that the out route is still going to get open um, just like that to the outside, real simple. Um, and, and again, you have to understand that that's a very tender spot for somebody to go user. The, normally their user defender is not gonna go over there to defend that snap throw out route. So what you're gonna get is you can run this curl and now you can have two routes that are really good against man over the, on that left side. And then you have all these routes that you can run on the back side of this that can be successful. For example, the post route to the tight end is one of the best man beaters in this game. Um, so simply just running a tight end post route is always going to get inside position. It's always going to be very effective um, against this coverage. So what you get with the single back wing stack um, is you get a lot of unique little routes. So another little trick with this play um, and something that I really like to do is just simply drag this tight end and you're going to see you're going to get a little natural pick. And then I'm going to motion the square receiver to the outside here, and we're going to basically have levels or drive. And as you can see, that route is still beating man on both sides of the field. Why this matters so much is because if your opponent is running a ton of this cover three uh, style of defense where you've got basically that adjustment right there, then when you motion this square receiver over and you combine that with a post route and maybe a drag, um, and maybe a running back shoot route, and then maybe something like a streak 
you're going to see that these levels really are going to do a good job and one of those routes is going to get open on the sideline for an absolute laser. So this is the double corner play. There's obviously other ways to run it than just this. One of my favorite little tricks is to take circle and you see here this is basically like an S post route now uh, when you motion him across and as you can see he's able to beat a lot of the coverage as long as Tom Brady doesn't completely freak out that route would have been wide open. Let me show you this again. So again, I'm just gonna motion the circle receiver all the way to the right. And you're gonna see here that now I've got isolated an out route and I've also got this little motion in S post route that's able to beat man to man. Um, and of course I say that, you know, Godwin forgot to put his hands up and catch the ball. So let me show you that one more time. And again, these are just little things that you can do with this that is gonna continue to make this really effective. So real simple, all we're doing is we're just motioning the circle receiver over. You can smart route him if you want, and then you can just snap him. You know, you can also snap him quick if you want to snap throw it early. Um, so if you wanted to get a snap throw early against man, you can do that. The other thing that you can do is kind of wait a little bit, get him outside the numbers. This makes it a little bit harder for the user to be able to go get him. And as you can see right there, he's able to make the catch against man to man. So a lot of ways that you could run this concept. This is just one of several. Um, but I would recommend really testing out this out route. This out route is so much fun. Um, it's really hard to use it. Um, it really is. So if you've got some good routes, you see here I can snap throw that against zone. Real right off rip, if they're sending any pressure at me, I've got a snap throw read. I think that's super important from this under center formation. So thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to get the True Fan membership, remember that if you sign up before August 12th, you'll get my first Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebook completely for free as being a true fan of the channel. Thanks for your support.